So, welcome, welcome, welcome. Group B XTC 2021 live on the Tauntaun Squadron Hollownet channel on YouTube. Welcome to this game between Germany and Italy. Italy, as you can hopefully see, are on the uh, Italy. Iceland. I apologize. That's ridiculous. Here we go. We'll start this again. This is Germany versus Iceland, Group B in the XTC. Germany. Uh, Eno on the left. He is the red player. Uh, Herrvder, I think is how we pronounce uh, the guy from Iceland. If I've got it wrong, chat. Chat. Help out. Uh, and this should be a belter because uh, Germany are quite good at this game. And Iceland have been fantastic in every game that I've seen so far. So I'm kind of hoping we're going to get a good game. So uh, clock is off. Game is on. Welcome. My name is Seth Holocron. Welcome to the live stream. And uh, let us see how we go. Yes, I, I, I'm probably a, a bit happy that uh, Italy are in the Euro final. But that's it. That's all I'm going to say in football. This is 75 minutes of Star Wars X-Wing version 2. So let us go through these lists, shall we? So on the left... Representing Germany, we have got Zamgo, and that's to be fair, probably the most used list in the XTC. But they're all slightly different, so let us show you and discuss while these guys are uh, setting their uh, maneuvers. Uh, let's go. We will start with the wonderful i6 Django Fett uh, on board his slave one, or if it's Lego, it's now Django's spaceship or whatever it happens to be. Uh, Count Dooku, for all that ridiculousness, he is the most under-costed card. He should be at least 15 points. He's not. He's 10. But there we go. Thermal detonators, of which there are four. False transponder codes. Okay, that's fine. You target lock me. You don't get that target lock. And a hull upgrade. And best friend in the world, Mrs. Zam Vezel, the lovely little shapeshifter. She has got Palpatine and Orsidious, uh, which is kind of good. Now, thermal detonators and false transponder codes and a hull upgrade for a grand total of 199 points. On the right-hand side is Iceland. We'll actually go right. So uh, there's all the hype starting to come in for the wonderfully named Hrigvinder Arsalison. A 198 point list. So uh, all I3s. And he's went for like a smorgasbord of uh, fantastic Galactic Republic stuff. So he's got a Squad 7 veteran. Very nice. Six hull, three shields, all good. He's got Warthog with eight hull and two shields. So those two are hugely beefy. And then two Jedi Knights, both with the Delta 7B. So instead of it just being uh, three hull and a shield, you get two extra shields, you get an extra dice, but you lose a defense dice. So those are the players and the lists. Let us see where we are at after Maneuvers number one. So, not a lot really has happened, to, to be fair. Love the painted ships. Well done on the seven Bs. That's delightful. I thoroughly applaud people who uh, paint ships in X Wing uh, to show them off. That is very, very good indeed. Uh, so, Zam at the top uh, for Enrico. Gently taking time. Is that the bait? possibly will will Django cut through the rocks or will he take the long way around the asteroids very tightly packed in the middle in a sort of Christmas tree type shape let us see where they now go so things looking kind of good hello Gary Colton welcome to the stream and uh, apart from you and the wonderful Dodo. Thank you so much for sending me that stuff, man. It is absolutely wonderful that uh, that you did this. Um, wonderful that you did. Um, and that, it, was, it was like Christmas Day or, 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 or my birthday. It was, it was wonderfully done. So thank you very, very much indeed for that. And I even got two ships. So hello there. That's the worst Obi-Wan impression in the history of, of anything. 
So off we go. The uh, uh, one forward and a one bank. Um, the one forward there from the veteran. And then Warthog banks around to the left. Two forward there from uh, the yellow. And a barrel roll to the right. As far forward. As far forward. Far forward. You want to be far forward. Good man. Barrel rolls away. Probably not getting shot this time. And I can take a focus. Which is very, very nice. This, this whole thing of being able to get a force point on these and more firepower and he's still going to focus and it's not even a stress that's that's so good so there you go there is the force token being flipped over and the focus is going on so little one forward don't really think that um they're going to be in attack formation i don't think that's range three i think pretty safe at the minute of course, what uh, Enrico will want to be doing is maybe two harding away and then dropping bombs, which is pretty good. But we've got to kind of keep an eye out for where uh, Iceland are going to go with their big beefy ships. Who I have to say, uh, deep down, that's actually making me feel really nice um, that they can probably cut through the rocks and uh, then leave the Jedi Knights to sort of uh, mop up afterwards, which uh, seems to me to be pretty good. Gary is one of the very nicest human beings I have uh, had the pleasure of meeting. Um, that's, I've even invited him over. He, he's more than welcome to come and stay at my house in, in Ireland if he ever wants to come over. Uh, purely gratis. Um, I just paid the postage for all that stuff. And that was a lot of stuff. Uh, it's, uh, the alt arts are fantastic. Uh, and I didn't have the Rebel expansion kit. So um, very nice. Very nice indeed. So I'm now fully up to date with uh, every single card in the game. And we've shots. We've shots. A hit crit. No, we haven't. Hang on. Let's see. So let's start this all over again. The roll was uh, one hit uh, into two evades. So not so bad. Uh, Zam, nothing. So the dice will uh, disappear. And will we get shots back from Iceland? I probably don't think these guys have got anything. No, they don't indeed. So that is the end of that. But our early door shots from that uh, manoeuvre from Django. Uh, nothing like the Lone Wolf or anything on the fire sprays. They're uh, just not built that way, which is completely fine. And I, I'm sure people get a bit annoyed that they kind of go oh no no i've got to play against this and then you realize you're playing germany and the chances of you winning are slightly reduced however they've got to crawl through tons of hull and tons of shields before any of the crits that would happen to go in actually happen it's all asteroids so anything landing on that and you stay on that your base is on that you ain't shooting so uh, hopefully the Iceland should try and uh, get these fire sprays into the rocks. Django has went in of his own accord, so uh, I can applaud that in a great deal. <laughs> Gary, I I will no, I will tell him where, where I got them from. I'm too I'm too truthful for my own good. Um, I will tell him that a very nice friend sent them over for me. Because I think that's the way life should be. You should tell the truth. It's always a good thing. So welcome chat. I uh, hope you are enjoying this. Um, if you're neutral, you will probably want Iceland. If you're Germany, you will obviously want Deutschland. So uh, there's a, a good 14 of us and me makes 15. Uh, thank you for the likes already. Really appreciate that. Um, loads of streams on at the moment. So uh, for you to be here. Uh, makes me feel very happy indeed. And let's see what is actually going to uh, happen here. Dials appear all to be set. I think we're ready. Iceland's certainly ready. Uh, I do like the fact that the uh, arc um, on the uh, on Warthog is uh, left and right. I do particularly like that. Uh, little bank there and a focus. Interesting to see if he is banked in here and he has liked that move a great deal and follows that up with a focus. Now it's, 
a cheap one. It's only the i3, so we're not talking about uh, Wolf or anything like that in here. But um, these 7Bs are so agile that uh, not too sure how well the thermal detonators will work, even as deterrents. Um, because I can pretty much guarantee that Zam is going to do a too hard to the right and then probably boost and get out of where they are. I would expect another uh, barrel roll to the right, and there it is. And it goes as far forward as it can. Takes the focus by spending his force charge. And oh look, there's a too hard to the right. And now a boost forward would put him at maximum range, maybe even put him out of the range. Problem is he's now looking at the next turn and this is what the XTC has bought to your homes and your bedrooms. You're seeing next level play. You're seeing some of the very best people who play this game showing why they are so good. So it's not, can Sam take that shot? Well, yes, Sam could probably take that shot. That's only going to be uh, from the arc. But the problem is he now has a decision. Staying there would make some of the th thermal detonators a little bit more of a deterrent. Probably won't get any damage out of it, but he's thinking about the next turn, not this turn. So a, a boost forward here could be very good indeed. There could also be a target lock going on to uh, the seventh veteran. That could also happen. Not too sure if Sam's got him in arc though. Uh, so let's see. He is going for the target lock. Should be able to get. Oh, gets both. So decision time. And it goes on to the wonderful Warthog. Okay. Spends the uh, false transponder codes. That is what happens when you or your opponent puts them in. And there is the turn away from Django, who will also take a target lock and take the target lock on to uh, the 107th. So he is in there. So the Squad 7 veteran is about to be shot, obstructed. So it'll be three out the back, and that's why Fire Spray Chassis, so good. So good. Front and back, really, really, really good indeed. Um, so range two. Obstructed, an extra dice for Iceland, and Enrico fires off. Will he spend his target lock? He does, he even spends it on the focus, rolls it into exactly the same thing, spends the force, and one goes through. So first damage, and that is into uh, the seven veteran so let us go back to this uh, unobstructed range three and warthog obstructed range three into the same target that django fired at and a decent decision to be made now do do we try and get through the the holes do you want to give them an extra dice so, to be fair probably warthog with the target lock would be better, but decides, nope, let's go into the seventh veteran. So three out the back from Zan, the lovely little shapeshifter who, um, ooh, no, spends that just as a force point, turn the eye into two hits. And that is a second shield off the veteran. So one shield left uh, for that ship from Iceland. But that is all of Germany's shots in this round, which now allows uh, Rindfiger, uh I really need to Google exactly how to pronounce this. So uh, at all A3, he can choose his targets. Uh, he is an unobstructed range three shot uh, with both force spent. So no defensive mods for either ship. Uh, decides to take the obstructed shot. So uh, three into three because of uh, the obstruction and the range two. 
So Iceland's first red roll dice of the game gets two hits and a blank. Will there be any shenanigans? Nope, two hits for one shield. So uh, Django loses a shield as well. And there will be a downtown. Oh, it's out. It's out because of the side arc. Oh, uh, Zam card now triggers. Um, let me see which Zam card it actually is. It is, you'd better mean business. But uh, Zam not being shot. So can flip over her charges. Zam now has all four charges up. And ready. Um, with Iceland shooting. Oh no! Lock that, sir. That's that's very good. Unfortunately, you may have uh, locked those dice too. Yes, I'm, it's sadly yes. There we go. Well done. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So a bit of board clear up, and that uh, will be very happy. So that goes away, and the focuses will go away. There we go. All good. So back to dials. And I like where most people are in, in this game. So that's pretty good. Uh, evening Buck of Awesomeness. Uh, that is a great name. Uh, that's actually put a smile on my face. So uh, Evening. Uh, I would have chosen Warthog there. I agree. I think with a target lock and, uh, and an unobstructed shot, that's... You know, that, that's roughly what it would have been. His name is roughly translated into Rainforest. Okay, that's that's great. That's that's wonderful. Um, and I do like the fact Mr. Colton says that, yeah, you don't cheat into Zam there. Sam, okay, she is now fully charged. But now we're going to be looking at where these guys are going to go in this turn. And it would not surprise me at all uh, to see... Shango maybe drop one thermal and try and get around the back of that asteroid. So a two bank or I don't believe the two hard gets in there. So maybe just a two bank to the left. Zam needs to worry about the veteran. So if the veteran decides to just ply on ahead, he may take a, a shot and a dice roll from the thermal detonator. He may not. He may decide to uh, bank round to the right. But these thermal detonators, again, stupidly cheap. Only four points. It is literally one point per bomb. Any damage that you roll, you take. Um, so I would assume that after uh, Atomic Mass Games, see all these lists, see what it is. Like these two ships, you can make this at a 190 point list. Um Zam is ridiculously undercosted as a crew. Dooku is ridiculously undercosted as a crew, and so are the thermal detonators. So I would assume some sort of points rise September, October time, whenever they decide to put out their update. Don't try and listen to the Google Translator on how to pronounce his name in Icelandic. Well, being Irish, I can hardly pronounce people's names in English, but I do try to try and get it as close as humanly possible. And it sounds like Hregvedr to me. And I love the like I love the whole Dane Finnish Icelandic Nordic region that some of my best friends in the world are from there. If I've got it wrong, I apologise, which is mainly why I'm probably going to say Iceland more. And I'm pretty sure his name is Arsalerton. Or you could just have Enrico Krupe, which is fine. That's that's a nice one to do. So let us go into this. Can I commentate the whole stream in Irish? Uh, put this into Google Translate. Pogue Mahone. Pogue Mahone. I will let you know what that is in a couple of minutes. Back to the game. And there are thermals everywhere. Zam has dropped two. Django, like I hoped he would do, would uh, drop the on the two to see if he gets it in range one. So possible, possible. The bank in to the right, uh, I think is a great move there to get a target lock 
if not for this round, but for later rounds. Uh, so that went on to uh, Zam. That's slightly problematic, that move. Slightly problematic. Uh, we'll take a focus. But with those uh, firing arcs out the sides, I don't think he's going to get a shot here. Uh, hard one from the Jedi. Uh, will spend his uh, force point to uh, go out to the left and uh, back a bit. Uh, he gets his focus. Uh, wonderful that you don't get a stress or a strain for doing any of that. Will this be a, a same maneuver? Of course it is. A one, and it will be exactly the same. A barrel roll to the left, and hoping maybe in a turn or two to get into Django. But as most people who know what this list is, Django's probably disappeared off to the right. Um, so there is the three bank from Zan. Pretty much guaranteeing that Warthog doesn't get a shot. Could, if wanted, boost. But uh, at the minute, closest point to closest point, that is obstructed if she stays there. So could maybe just focus up. Don't even think Zam's getting a chance now. So any, any action taken here will probably be more defensive than anything else. And I think a focus seems more logical than, than the boost. But we shall see. Certainly thinking about what to do. Decides to bank boost to the right. Uh, nice little forward move there from Django. And his is going to be a target lock. So like the way that Enrico obviously likes to use target locks. So let's go for these thermal detonators. First one hits Warthog quite clean and squarely. So red dice, a hit or a crit, you will take that damage. Anything else, nada, and that's a hit. So first damage on to Warthog, that's pretty good. Second does no damage at all. This should hit the veteran, and it does. And that's two damage from three bombs. So that is pretty good. Um, Veteran out of shields, Warthog down to uh, just one. But remember, eight hole on Warthog. Big, big, beefy ship. So, shooting time. Germany going to fire, continue firing into there. And that is hit, hit, crit. Range three needs something. Get the natties. So, natty evades from uh, Iceland will take the crit. The crit here is going to be structural damage. So not not awful. Not great, but not awful. Still uh, not halved, which is why these beefy ships are all kinds of good. Will he get a return shot? He gets no shot out of either arc. Neither, I'm afraid, will uh, the Jedis, but they are perfectly set up for an attack run. So, uh, back to Dials, and a uh, good opening engagement there, really, from Germany. So, um, 52 minutes left in the game, early doors. Uh, but the structural damage, I mean, it's, it's not great. It, it isn't great. Uh, I assume that Iceland will want to get uh, some guns onto target relatively soon. Hone, H-O-N-E. It's a, exactly, it's a, an affectionate Irish insult. It is. So, pretty much, seeing as this is not for children, it's kiss my arse. So, um, no, I'm not going to do it all in... <laughs> I'm not going to do it all in Gaelic, no, sorry. <laughs> Uh, the best man so far, best name in the stream so far, uh, the Bucket of Awesomeness. Enrico's pulled the Republic through the asteroids. Well, he's pulled one through them. Um, 
don't really particularly like where Warthog is, so that's going to have to go over something. Uh, the Jedis are in fine fettle for the next couple of turns. Um, do they need to split? Oh, there you go. Uh, so uh, Gary Colton says, yeah, peel away and live to fight another day. And that, to me, seems like a very good idea. Uh, Zamgo is an atrociously good list. Um, so if we look at the screen, if you look at your screen, you've got uh, the red fire spray is Zam Vessel. The yellow is um, Django Fett. Uh, we're now going to move in. So that's system phase, uh, second thermal from uh, Django. And as Gary Colton says, yeah, yeah, regroup. Regroup here a lot. Now, put a little bit of pressure on from uh, the Jedi, so they'll probably barrel to the left, and indeed they do. And I will, it's not going to take too much thought process to see that yellow will do exactly the same two maneuvers and get a focus, which then will leave us with where has Wart Hog been uh, put. So if he's going to do a hard turn, I hope he's done it left because there's a bit more room on that asteroid directly in front of him. So Mayday SOS Red Alert were is warthog about to go let's find out please be a bank to the or a hard to the left it is bypasses that completely uh excellent manages to get an action which will be i would assume a focus and that's good flying from iceland uh every single one of those the uh disconnect from uh the seventh veteran excellent and that just allows Iceland to take a breath and see where everybody else goes. So it was a Talonar from Zam. And Django, as expected, uh, goes, come and chase me. That's what these two ships want you to do. We'll drop things all the time. We'll make it hard for you to get through. Uh, that thermal in the sort of center of the board uh, won't do any damage at all. But um, if Iceland pays this next round crazy, I mean, it is still 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, there is three shields and a structural damage on there. There's only one shield off Warthog. And uh, Germany are untouched. So a good game so far, both being very well flown indeed. So let us see where we get up to in here. And it's Pond. Oh, good God. Well done, sir. Hi, are you? I hope... No, I actually hadn't figured it out. Too busy kind of commentating and flipping between screens and different laptops to keep up with the chat. So just double checking everything is right. Uh, seven veteran down to five, Warthog down to just one shield. Knights are completely fine. Germany's completely fine. And I'm hoping you're enjoying the stream as the rest of you. Please join in at any time. I am uh, fully happy to, to get involved with the stream as best as I can. So we're back to days. And Enrico has decided, do you know what? I need to kind of figure out where we go here. The disconnection, the no, I want no further part of chasing you, Zam, uh, has opened up the dial for Enrico's uh, Mrs. Vessel. Uh, so she can go anywhere. She can go towards Django. She can take a little one bank to the right. That's a blue maneuver. Gets rid of that stress. Can't really see too many shots in this next round uh, from where these ships are. Essen's going to have to be very, very wary of uh, the thermals. Now, four in total have been gone, both from two ships. So they still have two left. And in my experience of playing this, you drop one at a time as far back as you can to keep them off your tail. So it'd be interesting to see in the systems phase if there are any bombs. I, Zam will not drop one. That's pointless to put it into the bottom corner. Again, the two drop from Django could be good. Because um, if those uh, Delta 7Bs go two forward or three forward, that's, that's going to put them in, in a real bad position. And it's a threat. And as you saw before, he dropped three and got two damage 
out of the three of them. So they do do work. Iceland is completely set. I'm pretty sure that Germany are now set, so that could be decent. Love and the hashtags, free nick and hashtag too late. Love that. So where where are we at? Lovely 4K from the veteran. Nice little bank in and a focus. And I think that these two, just staying there, just take the focus. Don't 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 do anything else. I would keep that for defense and just take a focus. Well done. Well done, sir. I applaud that maneuver excellently. If you can do that again, that is excellent as well. There you go. Super flying from Iceland. That's two rounds in a row. That's very good. Let's see where Enrico ends up with his. So that is the one bank to the left to get through the stress. Can now boost and does boost. And uh, Enrico flying actually very quickly indeed. Uh, not going to get shot by anybody here, uh, which is good. Thinking again about not only the turn after, the turn that we're watching, but he's thinking about the turn after as well. Those thermals are great, and they make opponents cagey. Like, they will not go full in unless they can get a flank. So, I would actually like to see Warthog maybe come through. Uh, the asteroids here. There's the bank to the right from Django. Again, not completely sure if he has anything in range. And that's not giving him a shot. Don't think we've got a shot here either. That is a millimeter. All right. And obviously, if those two fire sprays can't shoot, neither can any from Iceland. So we are back to dials uh, the zam card has sat there for a little while so uh, enrico from germany i assume is very happy with his uh card that he doesn't want to get uh even put it back into his hidden area which is fantastic for him and now where are we looking so it's now i would do three banks from the two jedis um, if worried about any thermal detonator at all, you can you can barrel roll away. Maybe a two bank here from uh, Warthog. Uh, try and get some sort of side arc shot in. Um, one of seven should probably just clear that stress, take a focus, and and hopefully. Uh, not take any crits from Zam should that happen. My only thought here is that Django's in quite a bad spot. Uh, he is not in the best position in the world. He has ways of being able to get out, uh, but I don't think he wants to be doing a hard one to the right. I think that would be completely stupid. Um, no. There's no barrel rolls on these. It's all boosts. So the one to the right would probably put him... I mean, he might be able to boost right afterwards. That's that's a, a possibility. And still be able to shoot out the rear. So not so bad the way that those asteroids are set up. I'll tell you something, though. Iceland know exactly what they're doing. Well, that's, they're just ready to rock and roll. Right, let's, let's get on with this. With um, uh, 42 minutes exactly left in, in the game so let's see where we end up will there be a systems phase will anybody be dropping anything i would suggest not let us see so the two forward there uh it's a blue maneuver from that amazing big ship do like it uh, it takes the focus is probably hopeful of maybe getting a shot onto Django. Now, will they bank in? No, they hard. Hard one. And if the barrel roll happens, it's going to go to the bottom of your screen. It is moved forward. Take your focus. Perfect. Who goes next? 
is this could be key to seeing where we are actually doing here. So just takes the focus, which will then allow the absolute stop from Warthog for the stress to see if he can maybe get Django into um, range. One forward there from Zam, not getting shot at all, boosts right in, straight in, absolutely no fear at all. There is the hard one from uh, Django Fett. Could possibly be getting shots from the Jedi. And a decision. A decision indeed. Not only right now does he uh, attempt the boost. That's going to be very close indeed. And that is well done. Uh, out of range of everyone. All good. And may even have a shot in here. And he does. So excellent thought process there. Uh, three. Unmodded. Let's see what Enrico can roll. Hit and a crit. Spends his force for two hits and a crit into the already damaged ship. So that is a hit. And the. Let's have a little look. So no dice being done here at all. What is the. It's disabled power regulator. That's not good. One, two, three off two away from death. Can Zam's range one attack kill this ship off? Again, has got the force token, is not being shot. What's the roll like? And the roll isn't that bad. It is hit, crit, and two focus results. That could be enough. And is. It is. So that is an, an initiative kill. Now. Because of Warthog, if you're wondering why this hasn't disappeared, Warthog says if you're within range 2, so this will now have to be a range 2 from this, and I don't think it is. I think that would be range 3 at best. So they're just having that discussion. They have decided that that is exactly what has happened. And not only half points, but full points for Germany and let us just drop the squad seven down to the bottom 44 nil uh, no it's my dog thank you very much yeah uh, that's that's my dog so nothing at all uh, from that big wonder ship but took a, did have to take a lot of damage to uh, to kill off but as you can see Zamgo is just a, it's, it's just a really really good list so now in my opinion 44 nil down with uh, let me see how long is left about 37 minutes to go uh, there's still four total ther thermals to get in and to be fair Iceland are not really in the fight just yet so again because of the fantastic flying at the minute from Germany, um, these these thermals are open every round. There's a threat every single round. Again, I would expect possibly the two drop from Django here. Nothing from Zam. Zam can quite easily just bank away and keep going, um, running from these. And there we go, this is the systems phase, so it gets dropped, and that's still keeping himself one, and keeping one when you're flying uh, Django and Zam. It, it just puts the fear, as you've just seen. Uh, so the red has went right okay, 
uh, is going to barrel roll to the left. Obviously can't go to the right, but land on an asteroid. More interested in what the yellow is going to do here. And it, it has to go first. And again, just does exactly that. Same manoeuvre. It has been the same manoeuvres for both the seven Bs uh, the entire game. And uh, takes a focus, which then I assume there'll be a bank round here from... Um, oh, decides to go straight. The blue one just to remove the stress. Okay, so where does Zam end up? Big three bank there. Big three bank. Will there be a boost uh, to the right? Should be, I would assume. Indeed, there is. And uh, it's exactly the same for Django. Just I'll disappear around here. I'm all right with that. Thank you very much. All good. Boosts away as well. So this round absolutely zero shooting again because that's going to be well past range three and it is it only kind of goes just past the furthest asteroid so 44 to germany zero to iceland but still all to play for and should warthog be able to get into some stuff um you know, he has got Thread Tracers. That would help the, the Delta 7. But red to two turns. Um, yellow's going to have to go through the rocks. A interesting choices for Iceland. And at the minute, uh, if you are supporting Germany, Okay, we are back. Sorry about that. Uh, Django has lost two shields, which uh, isn't very good for Django, to be fair. It's uh, not really what you want. Uh, but there's been a heck of a lot of damage being put into uh, Warthog. He took a direct hit as well, uh, and is now down to just six. The Jedi Knights are absolutely fine, which is good. Uh, 27 minutes to go. They are uh, totally at full health, which is decent. Uh, but uh, there was a, a that really did not help uh, that three bank from uh, Warthog. So uh, we will uh, pull back and let you see. Uh, per veteran in a bit of a bad way. Uh, Zam used two of her charges for a revenge shot. And the only damage that has been done so far by Iceland is two shields into Django Fett. So we shall uh, see where that ends up for us. But I think I definitely, definitely uh, need to get something done with uh, my streaming software. So uh, this is now a recording. Uh, just to let you know that we spliced this all together when you watch it on YouTube or you want to watch it back. That is absolutely fine. Uh, lovely little uh, sloop there. Takes the stress. Uh, both of them doing exactly the same manoeuvres. Loving it all together. Zam cares not a jot. Straight in as, as she needs to. So, shots, Django into red, unobstructed. There is the uh, main thing that's uh, taken that thing. Wow, spend that, surely. Spend it. Spend it. That's hit and two crits, which he does. Keeps the target lock for the next round. Can only... Uh, Roll one evade. Uh, calls a blank with Dooku. So that is two shields off reds. Congratulations uh, on that attack. So down to one shield. 
downtown shot here from Zam into Warthog gets two hits. That's pretty good. Uh, two dice in return. He needs some paint. Gets absolutely zero paint. So that is two more damage cards coming into uh, Warthog. So down to four. And um, that has halved him off uh, at ten. Yeah, so that's another 28 points. Uh, Germany now leading 72 to zip, which is not where Iceland want to be. But they will get a shot back in here. It will only be in the Zam. Zam can then trigger a return shot that needs damage. Iceland need damage a lot. So not the, the ideal person to take uh, shots into, but uh, does get a hit. That's not bad. So the Zam card will be turned after the defensive roll. Rolls one evade. So that is fine. Will he spend his thing? Yes, he will. Uh, that card is obviously going to be you better mean business. Uh, it's going to be three into two with a focus on modded into Wolf. Two, sorry, into Warthog. Three V2 focus with... Uh, Zam as well spends the focus. That could be the two. Needs to natty out. Does not natty out. And for all of that running, that's a dead warthog. And this game is rapidly, very sadly indeed, uh, disappearing. Uh, and there's a direct hit as well. Oh, this is really bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Down to just one. One hole. Oh, dear me. But still in the game. 22 and a half minutes to go. Germany and Iceland in Group B of the XTC 2021. 72-0. But halving both of these ships... Django will be the immediate threat. That's that's what needs to happen. Django needs to take an awful lot of damage without any much more shots coming from uh, Haragvedar. So pretty much get get everything in, get everything that you possibly can get in, and uh, see where you end up. I still know where they want to be. There, there has to be shots, and in an ideal world, all into Django, and then try and get as many shots as you can into Zam in the remaining 20-odd minutes. Don't forget, hull upgrade on both means that instead of it just being five for half, it's six total. So I still need to do uh, four more into Django. And uh, if you go up, range one to try and get a four shot uh, attack uh, not great as one of the reds has already lost two shields so where where do they go so in, in my opinion warthog has to do the least stressed hard turn he can do the same with yellow but needs to get rid of the stress so does red because they're both uh, slooped last round. Django can just go one forward and, and, and take the bump. You know, it, this is not a bad position to be in for Germany, to be honest. So, uh, thought process about where to put Zam. Now, Zam hasn't even lost a shield yet. And I would assume that Enrico will want to try and keep that going. Uh, it's been a very good start for Germany. But, uh, you know, Iceland have flown this pretty well. They've tried their very best for uh, range. They've tried very well for getting as many green die as they can uh, each round. Sadly, though, uh, with the seven veteran going kaput, that's not great. So a one bank in there and a focus. That's pretty good. Will we see something similar from the Delta 7s? Both need to uh, get rid of... Oh, that's an interesting choice. That's an interesting choice. 
He's going to spend his... I, I would keep that. I mean, it is only one. So, you know, could do that. Maybe barrel roll right. Possibly. Uh, all three are open. But um, if Django's just on one forward, that's going to be a completely unobstructed shot with just a focus for defense because I can't see red getting a shot. Here comes uh, the yellow Delta 7. Uh, decides a two forward. Uh, staying probably right there and focusing up. Uh, gives a decent range field of fire. Does indeed take that. So Zam to go first. Zam, of course, being the red one. Uh, does a one. Perfectly happy with being there. Uh, another one will get them to go to the top of the screen and uh, make them chase. Zam with two thermals still left. And I'm not sure that's even an orc. I, I am pretty sure that isn't an orc. Just double check that. That's going to be very tight. That's going to be very tight. Probably catches the front left of the yellow. So. Oh no. Oh. Oh God. No. Because that's a boost. It's a failed boost. Had that have been a maneuver. A fully. A, a full. Zam Vessel would have went off the board, but not because that was going to be an action and you can't fire yourself off the board with an action. So, uh, lovely little shot here. We'll spend the focus for three. Uh, remembering there's only one shield left on that. He's going to call a blank just in case uh, Iceland roll, say, Navis. takes that away so that is the final shield and a damage one in three does not go oh this is very sad for Iceland uh, it does indeed clip that top corner and oh just a one so uh, fully health probably just keeps it as it is rolls the one of eight that he required but uh, now with red with no shot and uh, Django not getting uh, shot nobody in arc range three three v3 with a focus can I and get some uh, damage into Zam vessel not rolling two blanks and a hit I uh, can't take the focus. So there is a charge from Warthog. So if you're wondering what's going on, he can re-roll by using the charges. So it's now two. What's the natties? N zero natties. Otter blank out. Two shields off Zam Vessel. And that is exactly where... Uh, Iceland want to be doing. That is fantastic for them. So two off. That's a start. Here is a, 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 a shot here from Warthog. He's actually got into the game. Again, it is range three, but it's only a two-day attack. Needs, needs paint or eyes. Gets two natties. Zam gets two herself. So, um, obviously, the card was turned around. Um, you could get a target lock and a, sh a shot back. So, not so bad. No revenge shot, but that is just why there are two cards. Uh, or it would be ridiculously, ridiculously bad. It would be Dengar bad, but it isn't. So, not enough four points just yet. 97 zero to Germany uh, just under a quarter of an hour left in the game 
And this is going to be a massive uphill struggle uh, to the point that four damage needs to be done to each ship. And uh, both are worth 50 at half points. Uh, so it is doable. You know, both fire sprays, that would be enough. You know, 98 to win. Doesn't really, can't really afford to lose the Red Jedi Knight, but needs the guns. So hopefully, we pull this right back in again. And definitely maybe a change of card there from uh, Germany to see where we go. I would expect to see a one hard from Zam. Uh, because then there can be a boost either left or right to try and get out of Yellow's arc. Yellow has got a, a, a tricky little um, asteroid to navigate. I think she'd really go all in here on, on Django. A two hard to the left from Yellow, a sloop to the right from uh, Red, and a big bump in from Warthog. Get three guns on the Django, see if you can take him to half and hope that you still have three ships left. That's about the only way Iceland have got any chance of winning. Zam should turn and flee, uh, which is a perfectly reasonable thing to do. Except Django can easily do a one and then boost round to the left and not get shot. That's the wonderful thing about the Zamgo list. At initiative five and six, when you're up against a twos, a threes like this Republic list is, or even I fours, give them the initiative. And even if you've got an I five Obi Wan Kenobi, you know where he is, and then you can avoid getting shot and hopefully get shots back in. So let us see where we are. There is a bomb drop. So we're now down to just the one thermal on each. That's trying to catch him if yellow does do that maneuver. The two sloop. That is uh, one clap for that. This needs to be a one or a two bank from oh he decides to keep it there so he can get his mod i like that a great deal too and then yellow has yellow went left or is it going to go straight and a barrel roll that's the two options hard one in that's very very close to that thermal so because of that drop now the barrel roll to the left is going to have to come out goes as far forward as possible gets the focus and then let's see where the fire sprays end up zam i 100 will say it was a one but i wouldn't have went that way at all decides violence is the far better thing shots on target well played i think that's incredibly brave zam not getting a shot at all problem is Django could get halved here. Django could easily get halved here. 11 minutes left in the game. Let us see how we get on. Bullseye shot at range two. Two hole left. We'll probably keep Dooku for defense. And that is two hits. That could be enough. Reroll with the target lock. One, two, three hits. Must, must get paint. The Dooku called blank. That is a very, very dead red. Now, red will still get the fire because of the Warthog ability. But red is, red is gone. Let us remove that from the overlay. There's only one hull on Warthog, but he is okay. So, I always like shooting furthest out, but um, let us see if Warthog even has a life spends the the force for two hits needs exactly what you see on screen or two eyeballs or or something 
but he has to stay alive. And that is only one. The blank on the other die has now killed Warthog. So now I'm sure they're having a little discussion about what now happens. The Warthog trigger will has kept Red on to the end of the round. So a range one shot and these all have to get as, as much as is humanly possible in for Iceland to have any chance of winning this Group B game. So a little bit of discussion. There is the three. There is the four. That is the range one. Yellow has focus. Does not need any. Two hits. Two crits. Django can only roll two green. This is definitely halved. Not quite. But a direct hit. Half Django fit. They are there. There's there's 50 right away. Range 2 from the dead red. This has to do damage. This must do hit crit. Django still has got a focus. Warthog spends his charge for a reroll. So it is hit crit crit. One of those crits are going through no matter what happens. Rolls and natties. The card is damaged engine array. Oh dear god, that's not good. So the damage sensor array, that that's not great. That's not great. Let's add all this on. Damage sensor array in here. Two dice more. Well, Ison can't roll any more hotter dice. Like they literally can't. Um Dooku was rolled, and again, natties. But points on the board for Iceland. Brilliant. Now, can they take him out? Because if they can take Django out, they win. There's seven minutes and change to go. I, I could even see two more rounds here. But with only one ship gonna be tight it's gonna be really hard for Iceland to be fair Sam can literally come in here and clean up by herself she has two charges left the warthog dad goes away the red Jedi goes away yellow is completely untouched The score 121 to 50. They need 72 to lead. It's still a half on Django. Would put him to 99 with one ship and six minutes. Oh, and it's been flowing so well. It has been flowing so, so well. I mean, this isn't going to be the last. I can't re uh, unless Sam gets her double double tap in. I can't see how how anything happens here. Does the sloop? Problem being here, I can see a two bank, and you know, takes a focus. Will he do the talent with Django? Doesn't need to. Puts himself into the perfect position. The perfect position. A range one, four into three. Four into two. Because it's a Delta 7B. Uses Dooku. Is going to call a crit on this. Rolls a crit. Spend that focus. Spend it. Spend it. Three hits. One crit. Focus spent. That's at least two going through. Well done, Iceland. That is a, anything you can do, I can do better. 
takes two shields onto the yellow. Spends that focus for three hits. Brilliant evade dice. Brilliant evade dice. Spends the force to take no damage from the Zam attack. So seven damage in for just two shields. That's brilliantly, brilliantly defended. Four dice attack into Django. Django has no modifications at all. Two hits. There's got nothing he can do. Two more hits into Django. And that is Django getting dangerously close to being dead. That hull upgrade, hugely, hugely important. So two hull left. Uh, the damage sensor, right? If you don't know what that is, well, let me show you what that is. He can only focus. That's it. And at this minute, I think that's all he needs. Um, one more damage onto yellow. And this, I mean, to be fair, there's three minutes left. We may, this could be the last round, may not be the last round. Who knows? But there won't be any bomb dropping from uh, Django. Not this round anyway. So the Zam dial now being set. Iceland have already set all of theirs. Uh, their time is not on their side. Uh, here is the Django dial being set. Obviously, they can see the clock on the board, just taking their time to decide where they want to go. So it will be Jedi, Zam, then Django in that order. So yellow, red, yellow. And I believe we are ready to go. Let me just pull this back. Yep, both dials are set. So, turns it over, does the three. That removes the stress. That stress should be gone. And it is. Beautiful little move there from Zam. Setting up a lovely range one shot. And precision flying from Enrico to get the focus. Now, this should be a range two from Django, which it is. So, uh, three and a two. We'll probably call the crit here, or could keep it for uh, defense because Django does need to die. Hit crit. Uh, no, nothing was used. He's just saying that he's used that for the crit. Roll the crit. And that is hit crit going through the bump. Not good there for that. And it's now a fuel leak. I would say this game is probably over. Two to go. A range one shot from Zam Vessel with a focus. Spends the focus. That is good night. Congratulations, Germany. Let us see what Iceland roll. And they get the yellow Jedi explodes in a cacophony of explosions. And that is the game. Well played, Germany. Well played, indeed. 200 to 50. Germany win this game in Group B. Uh, hope you are enjoying the videos. Uh, Fingers crossed that everything goes okay. And that happened just with about 20 seconds. So almost to time. Uh, well played by Ragvadir. Uh, I thought you played really well. I really did, my man. Unlucky Iceland. Enrico literally, as the pips go, uh, wins 200 to 50. So congratulations, Germany. Commiserations to Iceland. Good luck for the remaining games in week number six of the XTC. My name is Seth Hologram from the Tauntaun Squadron. Thank you so much. And until the next one, take it easy. Keep watching.